It is currently the morning of the 5th of April 2020 in Vanuatu where Cyclone Herald uh, continuing to intensify over the past 24 hours as it moves towards the southeast. And for those of you out here in Port Vila, I know uh, plenty of people watch my updates actually out there. I do think the storm's going to pass towards your north. That's going to be the good news because the winds will be wrapping around and that is uh, Port Vila on the southern edge of the island there uh, going to be somewhat sheltered. But doesn't take away the impacts. This is still a pretty beastly storm system. In fact, I'll get to the Dvorak analysis in here in just a minute but according to jtbc this is the equivalent of a category four on the saffron simpson scale so i know yesterday i was talking about the difference between the fiji meteorological and the saffron simpson scale regardless still a powerful storm system i don't care where you are or what scale you're using i mean uh yeah the eye looks a little bit obscured in the infrared imagery by the way but if we look at microwave imagery which we can peer through some of these higher cloud tops you can see here what i'm talking about you have that flow wrap around but look at that inner eye wall right there that is defined actually going through a bit of an eye wall replacement cycle <clears throat> excuse me over the past several hours so what this tells me this is continuing to maintain strength uh the right front quadrant storm surge definitely i'm really actually concerned about some of these smaller towns in northern vanuatu uh, storm surge definitely going to be a pretty decent impact there but the good news this is going to start to drift towards east so the higher population area of port vila you could be looking at less of a direct impact but still definitely some impacts coming out of this actually like i mentioned jdwc has the winds of 115 gusting to 140 knots. I have to update the pressure. It is much lower than 970 millibars. Just something to keep in mind. I think right now, actually, at this time, it's closer to uh, about 9 of... 30 or 940 so it's pretty low uh this is actually a look at the dvorak analysis the winds uh according to dvorak were upwards of about 115 knots for a short period of time this is satellite analysis by the way this is what we use when we don't have hurricane recon to kind of give us an idea of how strong the storm is now due to that eye wall replacement cycle it does look like it fell down a little bit here so a slight weakening but i mean the difference between 115 knots and 100 knots sustained winds is <laughs> I mean, I, it's hard to explain, but it's not a significant difference. There is that is still enough that's going to toss debris around, um, definitely cause storm surge because of those winds and the forward motion of this storm system. And not only that, this is just showing you the winds, but the amount of energy um associated with it thanks to the uh, amount of latin heat out there is definitely catastrophic and you could be looking at a tremendous amount of precipitation so here's a look at the official track from the fiji meteorological agency passing towards the north of port vila um heading into tuesday early morning uh it should just pass there towards north as a category four maybe a category five on the fiji meteorological scale in fact take a look at the ecmwf model and this is what i'm talking about here let's look ahead now i have that pointer over top of port vila now this is a model analysis and that's sustained winds 25 30 40 miles per hour kilometers per hour we're talking about 50 to 60 kilometers per hour on the southern edge of that island now if this was to track a little bit further, there's about the track right now. If this was to track further towards the south, just a little bit, that eye wall I showed you earlier would be placed further towards the south, closer to the city, and the impacts would increase exponentially. But right now, it does look like at least, thankfully, it moved north. Now, a lot of these other islands, though, just north of Port Vila, I mean, uh, there's a, less of a population, but big touristy area out there. Uh, those will be taking the direct impact and storm surge definitely would be very high as that passes overhead looking ahead through the rest of tuesday let me scroll ahead tuesday into tuesday night those winds do start to wrap around and this is where i think the higher chance of a storm surge will be for port vila because yeah the the forward motion of the storms moving towards the east but those winds will be wrapping around and that's what's going to start to push that water on shore so definitely tuesday monday night through tuesday throughout the day uh pretty significant impact directly on the uh island of port vila or the city of port vila the entire island there before this is start eventually 
I should say, starts to move off towards the east. All right, let's look at the official track from JTWC. Uh, this does have winds currently uh, at 115 knots. It looks like they actually upgraded since the last time I checked it here. So the storm system still maintaining that intensity as it pushes towards the north of Vanuatu here, through Vanuatu, I should just say, uh, sustained winds 100 knots. And eventually out there just south of Fiji, Fiji actually could be looking at tropical storm strength conditions uh, if this tracks towards the south. But like I said, um, it all depends on exactly where it does track. So here's Port Vila's impacts from my analysis. Now this is not an official forecast you, you do want to check with fiji meteorological agency the vanuatu meteorological department um heavy rain i think is going to be severe just based on the orographic effect and the amount of energy or the amount of moisture i should say in the atmosphere with this storm surge moderate in port vila now that is in the city the northern edge of the island it's good i would probably have put severe to extreme in some of those areas wind damage minimal in the city more than northern northern edge of the island a little bit higher uh just because closer to that inner eye wall but like i mentioned before if that eye walls track changes by even just a little bit that could change the amount of impacts quite significantly so something you want to keep an eye on out for at least at this time though it does look like based on the ensembles it should still pull north of the island there and towards south of fiji but like I've mentioned many of times, it really there's a lot of factors that go into this. So definitely want to keep an eye on it as it does track off here. And eventually, like I said, just south of Fiji, there's the ECMWF model, which kind of pulls it off there. Let's load up real quick here. Um, just pulls it off there towards the west, just towards the south of there. I'm going to pull up that um microwave imagery one more time and just give you one more look at this storm system here as it tracks off and that's still loading so let's go ahead and pull this up here for you this is what i'm talking about with that inner eye wall and just exactly where that moves really could change the impacts from the storm system so you still want to check in with your official agencies i'll probably put out another update in about 12 maybe 24 hours um just depending on what i'm doing but right now i mean i'm not doing too much i'm stuck inside much like a lot of other people out here so you know i'm doing my best to stay busy and trying to be helpful for all of my friends out here in the western and southern pacific i know i've been doing these video updates for years now actually coming up on solid 10 years uh do running my youtube channel um so yeah if you guys got any questions comments suggestions please let me know hopefully if you are out there in Porto Vila, um you do uh find this useful and stay safe guys don't take this storm lightly it is a beast right now um especially the smaller towns on the northern edges of the islands I'm really worried about. So, yeah. All right. Have a good one.